Welcome back to the program, 138. You're listening to the music of uh, Donna Grantis Electric Band uh, and the uh, debut CD entitled Sweets. And she has joined Bill and me in the studio. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Mm, very well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, reading over your information, your bio here, I, I found a really interesting quote. You say, I love jazz, but I'm a rocker at heart. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you learned uh, um, playing. You learned to play guitar acoustic your, on your brother's acoustic guitar. Yeah, uh, he. There was an acoustic guitar at home. You know, he didn't really play it much, and uh, it was in the closet one summer. I thought I'd pick it up, and uh, I bought the tab for Stairway to Heaven, and then that was it. I was totally hooked. <laughs> <laughs> and when you first uh, uh, experienced an electric guitar, what was that like? It was amazing. It was like the greatest thing ever. Like a total transformation. Huh? Yeah, and I, I knew, I always knew that I really wanted to play electric. Mm -hmm. So the acoustic was just, uh, just a stepping stone. I, I made a deal with my dad that. If I learned one song perfectly on the acoustic, he would uh, he would get me an electric. And what did you learn perfectly? It was Stairway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why right I chose song. a seven minutes long that's, song. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Like yeah. you could have, could have chosen like a real quick ballad know, or something. I know. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about the influences that you had. Obviously, Led Zeppelin was one of them. Guns and Roses as well. Yeah, for sure. Slash, he's such a melodic and bluesy guitar player. And who do you have on your on your iPod now? Oh, Jeff Beck, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Zeppelin, John Schofield, Bill Frizzell, Kenny Burrell, BB uh, King, Buddy Guy, Black Crows, wow. Derek Trice. Yeah, I've missed I mean, anybody, have you? Yeah, there, yeah, I could go on. But uh, Jeff Beck, that's quite a fascination you have with him. Oh, I just yeah. adore oh. Jeff Beck's playing. Yeah. Yeah. You played in front of uh, Jimi Hendrix's uh, father? I did. That was my the first time I ever played in public. Um, in Cleveland? In Cleveland. So, um, you know, as a teenager, I'd, I'd buy guitar magazines, and I saw this ad for uh, the uh, Jimi Hendrix electric guitar competition, and there was a, a 17 and under category uh, that I entered. And, uh, and I was a semi-finalist, so I got to go to uh, Cleveland and, uh, and play with a backup band. That was the first time. Was this the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame eh? place? Uh, no, this was, I forget the name of it, something like Blues and Ribs or something like, some type of bar <laughs> like that. But uh, yeah, I was backstage, and then uh, Al Hendricks, Jimi Hendrix's dad, uh, was there with his, uh, Hendrix's sister, Janie, and, uh, you know, shook his hand and... It was a, a really memorable experience. But in addition to just uh, uh, learning to play good, you were self-taught on the acoustic? Yes. You then studied jazz at McGill University? Yes, I did. And, and I took guitar lessons as well leading up to uh, going to university. And how long were you at, at McGill? Four years. Four years? Yeah. So you got your degree? I have my degree in jazz performance. Excellent. Yeah. Bill, do you have a degree in anything? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah, I have 98.6. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> You've played with uh, um, a lot of uh, um, great Canadian uh, talent, including yeah. Cardinal o Official and uh, Amanda Marshall. I yeah, uh, there's just so much talent in in Canada, um, and I, you know I, I love to do it all. Like hip hop, playing with Cardi is so much fun. Well, I was thinking that's a, that's a real. I mean, that's, you're very, very versatile, to say the least, and you've got very eclectic taste. Yeah, I, I mean, I like blues, jazz, rock, hip-hop, you know, kind of anything, really. Yeah. I, I dig it all, but playing with Cardi is so awesome. He's really inspiring to work with, and, uh, you know, same with Amanda Marshall. She's just such a phenomenal talent. Mm -hmm. But that is really an interesting. It's like, you know, jumping from a bus to, to, a, to a car. That's a lovely <laughs> analogy, but but you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's 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 quite diverse. Yeah, but I, I mean, I listen to it all. And, and and in in the end, you'll get you'll be influenced by all of them. So the yeah. music that you produce yeah. will have a little bit of everything in it. For sure, and I, I think that's sort of the direction that music is heading in. You know, it seems like artists that that are coming out now are, you know, not 
not so boxed into one genre, you know? Well, we had the guy on who uh, runs Sneaky D's, you know, the, the yeah. bar restaurant here in the city, and that's what he said. He says originally they started off as kind of a punk bar, yeah. but then punk kind of went like punk rock and, and new wave and indie rock, and it's so many different branches of it, and then the, that everything gets... It doesn't. It's not. That's not assimilated. But everything is gets accepted by the other one. Yeah, totally. And music, you know, it's so accessible now with YouTube and RDO, and it's so easy to check out a ton of different styles of music. So I think a lot of bands are, you know, kind of punk rock with a country influence and kind of jazzy. You know what I mean? It can it can be a big mix, which is awesome. Country is uh, has become very popular, but it's not it's not the kind of country that it was when I was growing up. It's 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 different. It's it's kind of it's like a new light rock is what it is, right? Yeah. And some of the old style country people, uh, the the grand old Opry people are kind of they they shake their heads and say that's not country. Yeah, I think there are purists in in any genre. You know, they're the the real jazz purists who who think of jazz as mm -hmm. you know only b music that was made in a particular decade. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, same with blues, but I think it's really exciting to to hear it evolve. Yeah. Yeah. It has right. to. It yeah. has to. It has to indeed. Now we're going to take a quick break here, so we can update the folks on the situation with the traffic, and then we're going to come back, and you and Bill are going to play together, or no. just you? No, to Bill and I. Together again. Yeah. Together again. again. Isn't that a country song? Yes, it is. It is, too. All right, back with Donna Grantis and Bill King in a moment, 145.